Well, it has been years in the making and after several controversies and some new plans and deals, College of the Desert has finally officially broken ground on the West Valley campus. News Channel 3's Luis Avila is live in Palm Springs with more on this facility. Hi, Luis. Hi, Peter. Yes, yeah, COD continues to expand here in the Valley. If you remember, we brought you information about Roadrunner Motors in Cathedral City, but now here the Palm Springs uh, site of the facility is having a groundbreaking of its own. Now, here with me, I have Mayor Jeffrey Bernstein of Palm Springs. Thank you so much for speaking with us. I know you've been really busy today, uh, but first, what can you tell us in general about what people can expect here at the facility? This is really going to be a huge, exciting facility. It's a $400 plus million dollar campus. It'll have architecture, hospitality, healthcare, creative arts and design. Uh, it's really going to have a host of different services here that both uh, fit in with our business community and throughout the Coachella Valley. Yeah, and speaking about that, you know, Palm Springs tourism, hospitality, it fits right in here to the city. So what does this mean really for, you know, residents and students here? Well, it's great because we have the employers here and they're looking for having a, a trained workforce and trained uh, team here. And now we're actually going to be training them ourselves. Uh, and what's amazing is this is right across the street from our high school. So those kids who are at the uh, really disadvantaged kids will be able to get dual enrollment, concurrent enrollment, and then free tuition at the College of the Desert. Yeah, anything else you want to add before I let you go? I just want to, this is going to really be a game changer for all of Palm Springs because to have a college campus in town really adds a whole new vibrancy and life to it. Um, and I think this is going to be more than just a community college. They plan to open with two bachelor's programs and that instantly makes it really a destination college. All right, thank you so much, Mayor Jeffrey Bernstein of Palm Springs. Now the the facility is expected to open in 2027 with construction beginning this winter. So stay with News Channel 3 for that. And we'll have more information at 5, more about the facility and how this will benefit the community. Live in Palm Springs, Luis Avila, News Channel 3.